Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily reading, daily vibes for the 6th, 7th? Yeah, the 6th and 7th of September. So Thursday, Friday, this is for all signs, okay? Don't try to make it fit with your situation. It will not fit with everybody, okay? Um... Yeah. So we're going to see whatever comes up. You know, I feel like there's excuses. I'm making excuses. Making excuses is coming to my mind. Making excuses. So somebody may be making some excuses to get out of a situation, you know, to get out of doing something, you know, whatever. We're going to see whatever comes up. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Worth waiting for. <clears throat> Divine timing is at work in your love life. Now, with this card, I have to tell you that, you know, there are no coincidences. There's no coincidences in life, okay? There really isn't. Um, sometimes when you make an excuse, there's a reason behind that excuse. Maybe there's a, the, there's some sort of divine intervention that is, that is causing you to make that excuse, whatever. Divine intervention is real as well. Um, they will put roadblocks in the way to guide you towards the path that you are supposed to go down okay even to protect you they will put roadblocks in the way so just believe or try to believe that divine timing and divine intervention is real okay there really is no No such thing as coincidences. There isn't. Synchronicity is the word. And this has probably been going on for a while as far as things happening to either stop you from going in one direction or push you to go in another. The sun the sun. This is bliss. This is happiness. This is um, renewal. Birth. The future is bright. The future is bright. This is somebody that is reluctant to move on, reluctant to move forward, not moving forward. Maybe it's not reluctance. Maybe it's the universe not allowing you to. I mean, I don't know. You know, like I said, I started this out with sometimes, you know, divine inter intervention will throw a, a boulder in your path. There's a reason for that. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Beautiful. So, this is a very stubborn energy. Stubbornly staying put. Let me get some more cards before I say anything else.
Nine of Pentacles reversed. This was upright yesterday. Four of Wands reversed. Jennifer, you should do that one over. There's too many reversals, and I don't like negative energy. If it can't be positive, I don't want to hear it. That's not reality. It's not reality. The reality is, is that you have the ability. The only person that can make you happy is you. It feels like somebody is thinking about walking away from a commitment, okay? They're thinking about walking away from commitment. They're thinking about their own happiness. What's going to make me happy? What is going to make me happy? What is the ultimate happiness for me? Yesterday, somebody was happily single. Today, not so much. Somebody's in their head, feeling very emotional. You know, the Queen of Cups reversed, unable to master their emotions. There's that roller coaster ride back and forth. I mean, the Queen of Cups reversed. And it's the complete opposite of yesterday. As far as being single, if you're single, yesterday I'm single, I love it, I'm good. Today, I'm not so good. I'm not so good. I, I feel like crying. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of being alone. Where's my happiness? When is somebody going to come in and make me happy and take care of me? When am I going to find this commitment? I'm losing faith that I will ever find anybody. I'm losing faith that, that stability and security is ever going to come into my life. I'm feeling insecure. There's a lack of confidence, a lack of strength, a lack of emotional control. I mean, look at these. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. The King of Wands reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed. There's lack of confidence. There's lack of emotional control. Ungrounded. All over the place. Back on the roller coaster. La the judgment reversed is lack of faith, doubt, lack of forgiveness, unable to wake up fully. Refusing to see the truth of the situation. There is divine timing at work here. There is. Somebody is really discontent and feeling emotionally distraught almost, over not receiving what they want right now. I want it now.
There's a blessing in every lesson. There's a blessing in divine timing. Wish fulfillment will come. The Whatever you have been praying for, wishing for, thank God this card is upright, will come when you realize that the only person that can make you happy is you. Somebody's lost their focus, their concentration, their inner strength. They're closing off. I'm closing off my heart. I'm, I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down. I'm losing faith. Because whatever they're waiting for isn't coming. It's not coming right now. It's not, I'm not saying that it isn't coming ever. It's not coming right now. Okay, it's not coming right now. Okay, it's, it's in the works. It's in the process. It's in the process, you know. There must be something you need to learn to get the reward, okay? There must be something. And you have to trust I mean, both of these cards, you have to trust. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You have to trust and have faith that everything is happening for a reason. Truly. Truly, you do. Trying to control the situation is only hurting you emotionally because you can't control it. And when you can't control it, your self-esteem goes down because you couldn't control it. Let go of the need to control and let it unfold. Enjoy your life as it is today. As it is. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the lessons you've learned. Be grateful for who you are. And allow the divine to bring you your dream when the time is right. It's not here right now because really it's not in your best interest. It's not in your best interest for a reason. Trust. Trust. That that is the case. You may see yourself as a victim. If you play the victim, then you are the victim. You have the opportunity to be happy. Whatever struggle this is that you're going through with waiting is teaching you something. It's teaching you patience. It's bringing, it's making you stronger. It's teaching you trust. It's allowing you to grow. It's allowing you to heal. There's so many reasons why. The discontent that you are going through has a purpose, okay, it does, it has a purpose. Trust. Trust that divine timing is at work in your love life. Mm. 
The situation is calling for you to have faith. So, I feel like today is a day of doing your best, trying to master your emotions and realize that you have so, so, so much to be grateful for as you are today. Today. Somebody has lost that, their mojo. <laughs> I mean, that's what this is. Don't give up. Don't give up. We get a couple clarifiers with this card. Trust with these cards. Trust. <laughs> Trust that wish fulfillment is coming. It is coming. But, you know, we talk about manifestation and we talk about the law of attraction. Negative thinking brings you backwards. Wish fulfillment is coming. It's coming. Be happy with who you are and the ultimate happiness will find you. If you're not happy with, you, with who you are, okay? If you're not happy with who you are, if you're stubborn, if you're possessive, if you're jealous, if you're overly emotional, if you're crying all the time, if you're conceited, if you're self-centered, if you're letting your ego drive, if you have no faith, if you have lack of self-esteem, if you have lack of self-love, you have longer to wait, okay? You have to get to this point of healing. This is healing. And the divine will bring you in what you deserve. But you have to work on your own happiness first. For those of you that have done the healing work, it's right around the corner. These fell out. A new offer is coming in. I knew it was. And this offer could be from, uh, you know, somebody that has left you out in the cold. And maybe you feel left out in the cold. Maybe you actually feel left out in the cold because it hasn't come. Your insecurities are growing. That's what's happening because it hasn't come. What you've been waiting for hasn't come. It's coming. It's coming. It is. But you have to do your healing work first. Some of you have not. Some of you have. For those of you that have, it's right around the corner. It is right around the corner. There's a new stable, solid offer coming in. If you're ready for it, for those of you that have told the universe, you've proven that you're ready. Trust. Everything happens for a reason. There's a purpose behind it. Don't let this waiting period bring it, bring it down. Okay, don't. A big, big, big wish is coming for those of you 
that are happy and healed. For those of you that are still struggling, you have to let go of hate and bitterness and, and the feeling that somebody needs to come fix me. You fix you and the divine will do the rest. They will help you to fix you but you have to do the work. You have to do the work. So I don't know who this message is for, but it is for somebody. Be patient, be patient. Hard work pays off, it does. Good things don't come fast. They don't, they don't. So that's what I have for today. Relax and be happy. What you have been wishing for, what you have been waiting for is coming when you are truly ready. Tell the universe you're ready. Prove it. Actions speak louder than words. We've all heard that one, right? If you prove to the universe that you're ready, it's coming. So anyway, this is what I have. This will not resonate with everybody. Obviously, it will not. This is for somebody. I don't know who. Like I said at the beginning, don't try to make this fit. Happiness is, is within you. Keep that in mind. Talk to you later.